Hey everybody, the Bang is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Bionic Commando for the NES. So this game came up in the uh, randomizer, which is, believe it or not, once again, another NES game that I'm going to be doing in the afternoon. In 1980X, we found the bad top secret material called Albatross, which was never put into practice. Okay. Let me just never open the book. Imperial Forces Generalissimo Kilt has seen the plan and decided to execute the plan himself. Like how the music just stops. The Federation tried to stop his attempt by sending our hero, Super Joe, but lost contact with him. One brave man was sent with a special mission. To rescue Super... Joe! <laughs> the story begins. I like how that pause. Super... Joe. Yay! Like, obviously in North America, they took out pretty much all references to Hitler. But even, like, in Japan, they definitely reference Hitler in it. Captain! It's from headquarters! The command is as follows. Enter into the enemy area. Rescue Super Joe while staying in touch with agents. There are many agents in Area 1 now. First, go see them. We rely on you. So I remember the last time I finished this game was on a stream like years and years ago. You have all these areas that you gotta go through. Red ones are like neutral territories. Ones are like white boxes or of course have enemies in them. So we gotta descend into each of these areas to like maybe just deal with some enemies and get ourselves some good items. Alright, so we only have our basic weapon and a basic communicator. There will be multiple communicators you need to find throughout the game and certain levels will require specific colors. More on that later. So the weird thing about this game, you move around the D-pad, B to shoot, you can duck, you cannot aim upward with your weapon, you cannot even jump. If you press A, you use your uh, bionic arm. Now you can aim that forward and upward if you want to. But that was... and I'm dead right away. <laughs> I died right away. So I have that many lives left. L, I guess, is your experience? I can't believe I died on the very first enemy. That's insane. Well, actually, I can kind of believe it, because you only have one hit. Anytime you kill an enemy, it drops a bullet. And bullets actually give you experience. The more experience you get, the more, um, well, health you get. So it's always a good idea to kill as many enemies as you can, so you can get an actual health bar. Alright, so you have two options here. You can communicate, assuming you have the correct communicator with you, or you can wiretap your enemies, or you can do both. This is MA-1. I've been waiting for you. Many of our agents have already infiltrated the sectors you will be traveling. To contact them, you must find a communication room. Your success depends on staying in touch. You should be able to wiretap and intercept important information. Ignore all dangers and proceed to the open door. We'll contact you later. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can get for wiretapping. Commander, beware of the elevator. No, we have you. Yeah, me? No, you don't. I'm gone. Oh, I almost dropped right down. Likely you can use your bionic arm to grapple the bullets, too. I don't know if it'd be a good idea to keep moving forward immediately, considering 
how low my chance of survival are. But I'll do my best. Thank you. Sometimes enemies will just pop out of these doors, too. So you can take advantage of that if you need to. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for him to stop shooting, and then I'm gonna go. There, I did it. Now I have an actual health bar. So I'm not made out of, you know, rice paper anymore. Good to know. Alright, let's go. This elevator will be very helpful because if you drop all the way down, you cannot change your direction in midair. And there's also spikes. Which will kill you. So let's go over this way. Oh, another communicator. Area 4 is an arsenal. Maybe we can find good weapon we can use. Did you, like, fail English or something? <laughs> this was not translated very well. 2nd <laughs> Battalion is heading towards Area 4. Hey, if you're going to Area 4, don't forget to take a flare gun with you. Hmm, maybe we can get a flare gun there. I think it would be a good idea. Okay, so this is gonna be a little rough. Remember, I can't jump, so I have to position myself like this. Enemies constantly parachuting is actually not a bad idea. Or not a bad thing to happen, because now you can get yourself a nice lot of, well, experience. So it might be a good idea for me to just hang around and collect as much as I can. I might actually do that. Oh, apparently start does not pause the game. Select does. I think start is to use like certain items that you might bring with you. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I think two bars of health is fine. So I should start moving forward. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Move away, that's bombs. Okay, so I didn't take damage. Instead, I just got knocked back. Did I just get an extra life? That's cool. That's not very common, of course. Definitely makes up for what I lost. I guess I can always check with select. Okay, so I only need six more to gain yet another health bar. It seems they keep coming fast and furious. I probably don't even need to like split the part. Cause I can just get it all now. So there you go. You know what, I'll just take the hit, that's fine. I can't keep myself stunned over here. I can't make any progress. Eventually, oh, oh my god, you can actually shoot the bullets upward? And they just go right into the walls? I didn't know that. Okay, let's see here. Where I gotta go is up here. Just watch out for that enemy that throws the bombs. Because you can't shoot through the barrier. You can, however, just break the barrier.
I don't know what's up with that guy over there. Oh, I need 18 more. That's gonna take too long. Let's just go right to the boss. So you think you're gonna destroy the main system? You have no chance. We'll see about that. There's gonna be like an endless supply of troops, by the way, so... You best try to create an opening... ...like this. And then just keep shooting that computer. As long as you stay in the middle, they can't really do anything. And there we go, we did it. Area clear, there we go. And every time you clear a stage, you get 10 bullets automatically. And you get energy recovery pills. Uh, let's go to area 13. Because that should be a neutral territory. Now, neutral territory means don't use your gun, ever. You can press up to talk to people. This is a neutral area. All acts of hostilities are prohibited in this area. If violated, you will be attacked. What are you doing here? I'll take care of you. No, you won't. Okay, you just gotta walk into him. Super Joe? I'm sorry, I don't know anyone named Super Joe. What about Joe? Oh, there's just a bullet over there. That's cool. Okay, I thought I would just keep going back. That would have been amazing. This music sounds really Mega Man-ish. The grapple you are allowed to use. Because it's not really a weapon, per se. Okay, I don't know what I just picked up, but I got it now. It doesn't even say what it is. Maybe I'll find out if I go into the actual menu. If I descend again... I guess it looks like some kind of bomb? I can't really tell. Okay, what if I leave the area, re-enter, will the bullet respawn? Still doesn't respawn, so I guess it, you just don't do anything with it anymore. Uh, can I exit by going all the way to the left? Yes. Okay, I gotta be careful because I see a truck there. Oh, I thought we had to fight. I guess we will technically have to, if we're gonna go to Area 4 next. But I think it's gonna start moving, there we go. Okay, we can descend now. Alright, let's freaking go. Uh-oh. It's kinda dark. I'm thinking that other item I could have taken would have allowed us to see. I do appreciate that you can actually swing more than once. Oh no! Well, that just brought me down to death. Right away. Yikes. That guy's got quite a bit of girth going for him. That was close. 
This is M8. Use this communicator in areas 1, 4, and 5. We have to hide the other three which you must find. Okay. Now what intel can I get from my enemies? He's too strong for us! Let's try to get behind him! Okay, well, I'll do that then. I still can't see very well, of course. Like, I can make out some silhouettes and stuff. Oh my god, I couldn't even see that guy at all. Hang on. If I hit A, B, and start... You can evacuate right away. So that's pretty helpful. What if I use this instead? Let's see if that makes any difference. There we go, now I can see. Personally, I would have liked the potion, but I think I'd rather stay alive. Oh no. You know, I want to see if I could just press A, B, and start at the same time, just as I was about to get killed. To see if that would have worked. I also don't appreciate I'm at my last life right away. Because here's the issue. There are no continues. You can pick them up, but you don't start with any. So I'm already just kind of shit out of luck. Like, I could end up dying right now. That's how dire this is. Like, I'm just really worried of how this is gonna go. How many more bullets do I need? One more! I just need to find one more enemy and I'm good. I just gotta make sure I don't fall to my death. Easier said than done, of course. Got it! I may have just saved my ass. Oh, because I didn't get in the communicator last time, so it don't count. Because I left the level. Are you kidding me? Why did that not work? Okay, I'm just gonna have to play it safe and back out again. So I know what I need to do. I need to go to the communicator in the same run. But I'm gonna need to find a place to get some lives. I wonder if I can go back to area one and just farm for some. That might be a great idea if I can do that. Why don't you just give me a few minutes to see what I can do? Alright, several minutes later, I finally found a spot where I can go get myself an extra life, and that's in Area 3. At least you're allowed to skip through, like, certain areas and go to different ones despite not clearing them. I'll go over that spot in a moment when we actually have to play it for real. So yeah, I only got, like, one extra life because it was easy to get one from a box, but it would just stop dropping lives and end up giving me other things. So we're back to area four, and this time we'll go through the communicator, as we're supposed to do. So once I get past, like, area five, I'm gonna have to use a different communicator. 
He's too strong for us. Okay, so again, we were just told we have to hit him from the back. And the reason why I went back here is simply because... Remember last time? That I royally screwed up by not going to the communication room first? It seems you have to do that every time. Even if you've already been there before. Oh, which way is the door? Over that way, okay. It still feels very weird playing a game where you can't even jump at all. Gotta be careful here so I don't fall to my death. Um, this is gonna be awkward, isn't it? Oh, never mind, I got it. I just had to back up a little bit. Oh no. Uh, I'm just, just gonna take the hit. Alright, we made it to the boss, now that I've actually opened the door. You're a fool if you think I'll let you have any weapons. Prepare to meet your doom! Oh, he's got a bayonet too. So the good thing about this uh, grapple is that it doesn't hurt you. It just knocks you back. And I could just go straight for the core if I want to, and ignore him. So I didn't even have to beat him. Ooh, and you get a new weapon, the Wide Cannon. Uh, please instruct? Of course. It looks like we might get ourselves in a, uh, encounter. Meet with enemies and descend. So this is where things get a little different. It, now we're going commando mode. So this is where the widespread comes in handy. Just doesn't have a lot of range, but it's something. Also, I think that icon, I believe, gives you a continue. So if I game over, I get another chance. Oh no. Yeah, I thought that grenade was gonna get me. I guess I just go through here? Yup. I did it. Uh, we'll descend on this neutral area. I don't think I need the flare anymore. Hey. This is a neutral area. Oh, I blah, 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 blah. Wait, I think I was already here, wasn't I? Comes the leader of the Imperial Force. Make way for Mr. Kilt. FF Battalion. A dog of the Federation. I'll teach them not to mess around with us. If they don't want to shorten their lives, they'd better be quiet. How rude. Okay, this is a different area. Nope. Oh. I guess you can't get onto that. There we go. Ooh, I was worried I'd fall into some spikes. That would have been disastrous. Ooh, okay. Careful now. I could probably blow it up, but then I'd be in trouble. I almost fell into the water. So it may not even be worth it. I don't even think there's anything there. Alright, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's actually go back to Area 15 and then blow up that wall. 
So, I mean, worst case scenario, we get shot to death. Best case scenario, we just survive. Yep, so now everyone's mad at us. All I have to do is just get in the door and we're fine, right? So yeah, it looks like there's a communicator over there. And I want to be able to get it before we move on. So I don't know if I'll need it yet, but it'd be a good idea to get it now as opposed to not need it. And then have to get it later. Luckily, if I come back, they won't be hostile anymore. Okay, so now let's actually stop the video here. In the next part, we're going to Area 5. See everyone. Thanks for watching.